five, four, three, two, one, sink. sink. Welcome, everybody, to the Lego Brick Feed Podcast. Ready, girl. My name is John. Uh, I'm uh, Massa. I oh, forgot sorry. the order. Well, you are <laughs> supposed to be before me, technically. Oh, so you messed up. Yeah, Mardi Gras! Awesome. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> hey, you want to do this again? You want to do this again? I want to do this I'm again. I'm taking from the top. <laughs> oh, boy. Hello, and welcome to the TTV Brick Mardi Feed Gras. Podcast. I'm John. <laughs> <laughs> just go, just girl, keep going. You, it's you! It's you! <laughs> Wait, I didn't hear you say your name! I said I'm John. Him. I heard Mardi Gras and in silence. <laughs> okay, this is why we don't do the Mardi Gras before we're done with the names. Wait for the names to be done, then you can Mardi Gras. Doesn't even make sense for his podcast. <laughs> I'm John. I'm Bart. I'm Mesa. I'm LJ. I'm Ben. <laughs> <laughs> And last but not least is... Wait a second, what? <laughs> I thought Purple was joining in. No. Purple's not joining in. Uh, okay, Purple's... No, oh, boy. I, no. Hey, that's it. That's that. No. I'm no. introducing all of you myself. Do it. Today, on today's podcast, we have we have your host, Jonathan Juan. We have the man with a plan. The man with the plan? The illustrious bar. That's all I got for you, man. Uh, we got man with a plan. the Skull King, Messenac. <laughs> I'm LJ. You don't give me a title. Why are we doing this? Why are you doing this right now? You're, You're just, just wasting more time. On, man. I'm I'm literally trying to get as far away from this as possible. No, you're this not. Is, I, I think we on. should all we should just stop for a moment. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And let's Listen. just start over. Everyone here. But this is comedy gold. <laughs> everybody, we all know this. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes. Okay. They do. They make mistakes. I, I love making mistakes. <laughs> I mean, I hate making mistakes. Dude, mistakes taste right, so every, good. Okay. Everyone, take a deep breath. How's the weather going? Just with me. Nope. In and out. You're doing a terrible job of reeling this back Yeah, in. this is My really God. bad. Third round. Third round. Okay. No, no third round. <laughs> You're Invictus. just taking too long what? to get into it, dude. Come on now. I'm trying to, like, all right, Envy, who are you? I'm Tenebrae Invictus. Thank what, what, you. Thank you. <laughs> this Envy. is the Breaking Podcast. Just stop. Episode just stop. Just restart. <laughs> okay. All right. Hello and welcome to the Lego Brickfeed Podcast. My name is John. I'm Bertrand. I'm Messinac. I'm LJ. I'm Ben. And I'm Tenebrae Invictus. And this is the Brickfeed Podcast, episode 24. <laughs> awesome. There you go. <laughs> that was incredible. Wow. I love it. I couldn't let that go from the last couple of takes that we did. Oh my gosh. Man. People, you don't know how many times we had to repeat the freaking name. Oh no, they will. they will. They will. They will. Oh, still no, be in the no. intro. Yeah, oh yeah, we're still, still there. Oh, okay, cool. We'll still keep it. All right, well. Yeah. <laughs> you, you wouldn't think we'd be doing, we'd, we'd done this for f- six years with that. As our introduction. All right. Well, okay. It really starts because, again, the Mardi Gras is not supposed to come until after the names. He is right. Okay. Of the four times we screwed that up, the Mardi Gras was only one problem. Yeah, dude. Of the one. And besides, speaking of which, Mardi and, Gras. And then you drag it on. I was trying to restart. You were doing <laughs> you a guys. bad job of restarting. Everyone, You were like, let's continue. Why? Speaking of I... what's continuing, this episode has been brought to you by our sponsors, the TTV Message Boards and Vessel.com slash the TTV channel. You'll hear more about them later on this episode. Are the Message Boards really a sponsor, though? Listen, those guys have been working with us since day one. <laughs> All right? We got to respect them. <laughs> Isn't that us? <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Don't ruin can you joke. really sponsor you for joining yourself? us on one of yes, our TTV you can. podcasts sponsored by TTV? <laughs> <laughs> we can definitely sponsor ourselves. In fact... The boards actually pay us money to sponsor them on this podcast. <laughs> uh-huh. Fun fact. They totally do that. It's pretty sweet. The people that run those boards are pretty great. They are the best people ever. In the news this week, we got several things we want to talk about. The biggest one, basically, is the new creator model that was released. Oh uh, yeah. Just a couple days ago, which we got a press release for, which we never get press this releases was the first. until just now. Interesting. So thank you. This is the first of hopefully many. Nah, this is our last to spill one. the beans. We're not getting any I more of these. I want to buy the Assembly Square just because it's like it has a sentimental place in my heart now. It's like it's the first set. What? What? You know? It does? This has a sentimental yep. place it's in your heart. It's going to go down in history. The first set we had a press You're- release for. It's awesome, man. 
You're not going to buy this. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. It's probably one of my favorite modular buildings, though. No lie. Honestly, though, it really is. I said this in the news video. It's like, it doesn't have that unified focus, something like the Palace Cinema has. But if I bought this, I feel like I would arguably get more out of it because it has like five different things contained with it. It's like, it's a bunch of mini rooms, mini shops and stuff. And it feels like it's kind of jam packed full of content. Can you guys post a picture of this assembly set? Probably a good idea. It'll be in the video, but I'll post one in the it chat. It will be in the video, but yeah. For the sake of conversation, you know. <laughs> oh, I get you. I get uh, you. Yeah, I've never picked up any of these modular sets, but I feel like this is the definitive one, you know? Like, it, it has everything that I would that I would like to have out of the modular sets, where it's got the, the variety of the buildings you know, thrown in there. My yeah. favorite part is that orange brick separator down there in front. It's like oh yeah, like we don't get ever. hundreds of those. I know it's totally exclusive to the set too. I actually I'm so don't glad have one. I How do you not have one? Because I don't buy big system sets. Don't surely there's one in like like a sixty dollars set, right? Nope, not one I've ever bought. Uh, Interesting. No, no, they're they're in a couple of sets that you usually get one with the bigger sets. Actually, I could have sworn one came with my NRG dragon. Yeah. Yeah, with the big, the bigger, more expensive <laughs> sets actually come with it. Um, uh, you won't get them with smaller sets because it's like, well, what? Yeah, but the NRG Dragon's not a big giant set, is it? Mm. Biggest system set I own. Uh, how from much did you pay for it? The Samurai Mech. I don't know. Money's not a uh, not a problem. Did your dad give you a small loan of a million dollars? That set? <laughs> He's like, oh, hey, Vardaran, just. Take that. Buy whatever you want. He just happens to have a burning hole in his pocket. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's only $40. Yeah, I would yeah. say that's only like... Only $40. That, that's the, the price mark where you'd start getting... Um... Do you remember one time we laughed at one of our cast members because he was like, oh, this is only five bucks. It's basically free. And we're like, well, man, what an idiot. <laughs> and here's Vaughn going, oh, it's only $40. You know, money's Rick not a Keenan. Money's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> money's not Piece a problem. Piece of crap. <laughs> You're what's wrong of his generation. You're that one percent. Oh, talking geez. About. I'm sorry. I'm supporting businesses by buying their products. <laughs> I'm supporting one business. Yes, that Let's keeps real. us in business. That's true. Gosh, I guess you are supporting look at me contributing them. to the economy. Jeez, what an evil being <laughs> I am. If it wasn't for people like him, we wouldn't be doing what we do. So thank yeah. you, Var. Thank you for making sure that money isn't a thing to you. You're welcome. Man, why don't you just glue your lips to yeah, his butt? Yeah, dude, like, really. Good <laughs> grief. Where are you right now? Listen. 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 You, listen. Yeah, you can glue your lips fact. to my butt, and I'll glue my lips to Lego's butt, and it'll be like, um, what is that movie? <laughs> Do oh, not no. finish <laughs> that sentence. <laughs> no, 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 we're not going to mention the movie. Nope. Okay, we're not going to talk. Once you have unglued movie your was. lips from your own rear end, this set's cool. It's a pretty cool set. Awesome. I'm glad we have such great conversation to add to this. There is a lot of references given here to the like some of the older uh, modular sets. We're, in the press release, we were given a document, basically, that gave a list of all the references to past modular buildings. Um I'm looking. I'm looking through here to try and pick something like kind of noticeable. Um, there's, I mean, there's some. Like, it's just like little details, basically, that they uh, they share with the other modular buildings. You can I don't know if this is a reference per se, but I want the pretzel shop. Of course, like the little pretzel uh, and the course. logo. <laughs> it's like that's cool. Man. I just want the whole thing. It looks really cool. So I, I'm a big fan of modular buildings. I'm not really into modular buildings, but and, and this does look cool. However, the one thing that really puts me off of these kinds of sets. All the minifigures have the same expression. That's yeah. cool, man. That's cool. That's not cool. Yeah. I don't that like it either. Creepy. They do I that like intentionally. That. that is, I know, I know they do it intentionally. I, intentionally. I just, I'm not a big fan. I'm of not it. a fan. It's, it's terrifying. A stylistic choice. Like, I, I really like the. It's, it's another thing about the Temple of Air Jitsu, which we talk about all the time. But it's just another reason why that's such a great set. Is all the minifigures are unique and they all look really cool and they're all well done and detailed as far as the uh, the printing and the faces. These look like something out of a, an episode of the Twilight Zone. Yeah, see, like the thing is, nah. the, the 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 normal Lego face looks cute on Benny. Any other minifigure is just kind of like, okay, it's kind of creepy now. It reminds me of the Lego grad student thing. Whenever I see this, yeah, it's, it's like, like well, well, see, that's what I yeah, think of. I think of someone who's dead inside and has to wear <laughs> a little smile, walking around the world. That's what I think of. And uh, I feel like that's this entire town is full of these people. All these people are dead inside. Yeah. Except I for that baby. The baby's still young. No, I'm dead inside. The Lego Wake baby. Me, uh. 
Wake me up inside. <laughs> Can't wake up. Anyway, no, really, like, I do want to. I want to eventually buy a uh, just a table to put in my office here and just get a bunch of modular buildings and start building Same. a city on it. I, they uh, seem now like that I the have the pinnacle of what you can do with Legos. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, they, they're, they're like so the very expensive. they're the top of like really well done, well put together, well engineered sets that are like they're just pure so Lego. Expensive. That's what always kept me from getting any of them. Yeah, but Same. Yeah. I've wanted them since I was a kid. Yeah, this one's almost like like two hundred. This one's two hundred forty bucks. This new one, two hundred and seventy nine. Two seventy nine. Oh man, yeah. yeah. I guess it's that's like a lot that's of money. more than Erditsu Temple. Depends on that what, is what, yeah, what I, you would be interested. Like, if I could see this selling to um, older crowds that would be interested in stuff like nin- Ninja Go. That's right, I said it. Ninja, Ninja Go, Chima, the other sort of themes that Legos pumped out. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean. You know what I'm saying? The you modular, guys are too quiet right now. The modular buildings <laughs> are definitely like they're meant for a an adult audience. They're meant for AFLS. Yeah, there you go. Then that's like basically the entire premise of that line. The modular building sets, um, and they've always been very high quality, very detailed, very you know kind of detail oriented sets. I feel like you know the, this is just a, a, a never like stellar hit right. in that line. Yeah, it's the largest one they've ever made. So there is that. That is true. And it hasn't like okay again. I was talking about the Easter eggs earlier. Before there is actually a micro version of the cafe corner on the one of the apartment shelves, That's and they awesome. actually have like a printed tile to represent the box. Um, I love that so much. The, there's also a micro version of the green grocer, the green goblin as Isn't well. It? Um, Whoa! Yes, Not so boring. That's no. exactly what I said. Confirmed <laughs> for Assembly Square Green <laughs> Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Assembly Square Homecoming. Spoilers. Uh, and then, like, just a bunch of design stuff uh, as well. You know, there's like the, the rooftop door access referencing the fire brigade. Uh, there's a lot of the stuff like Lego gave us a list of stuff that I don't actually know what it means. Like they'll say like, oh, fire well, brigade we're not that immersed has in the, like, the, the rooftop door culture. access and the kitchen and the apartment, which I mean, I guess it's just to say that the fire brigade <laughs> had this as well within the modular building uh, that – I feel like that was, and they're like they're just referencing each other, I, I, I guess. But like some of these are kind of like okay, center pattern in front of cafe is shared with the palace cinema. Okay, sure, thanks. I'm about to alienate a lot of the viewership for this uh, this oh series. Boy. Anyone oh boy. that isn't well, like you can totally afford it, so go ahead. Great. Anyone that isn't a member, a, a fan of Bionicle, okay. I feel like this is a really great moment to have that scene from Web of Shadows. Where Vakama is like harassing Norik and he goes, You're not supposed to understand the message, just carry it. And that's how Lego just gave us all this information. You don't need to be a fan of modular buildings and know all these references. You just, just need to know what exists. Just yeah. tell everyone else. <coughs> well, I view it as like an Point entryway into that because we are admittedly, we're, we're new to this whole scene. We gotta yeah. learn all this stuff. We are, from we're the like, past. we are very recent AFLs. Basically, the new about kids on the block. three months ago, <laughs> really, is when, like, I mean, we'd all kind of, but, like, we all, the like, committed to well, being AFOLs about three months ago. We've been AFOLs for years, but we yeah, haven't I mean, been involved in right. that community. You're right. No. We have, like, by technicality, we have been designated AFOLs because of our age, but we have not, like, been invested in the community or the sets that AFOLs usually buy or keep up with. We've stayed within our own bubble right, for a while. Right, that's why I was getting it. Because our bubble burst, and now we're like, hey, can we, bunk, we bunk with you guys? Yeah, it might not seem so special <laughs> to us because we're not used to it, but I could I could definitely see the appeal yeah. to typical AFOL. Now, that makes it sound, it almost sounds racist. To say it like that, <laughs> typical <laughs> AFLs. It's, it's oh yeah, this is sure. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought of too, man. That's look, pretty I'm racist. T- I'm just, then. Uh, I don't know how look, you I, could I, say I, that. Uh, Darn those. DTV those does not condone racism, so I'm just gonna throw out. We <laughs> we don't. That's a fair statement. <laughs> Looking but, at this modular building ageism. and talking about wow, talking about modular ageism. buildings in general, I actually think I may get the palace cinema. Like, it's just random. It's not this set in particular, but, like, mod- as far as modular buildings go, that one has always caught my eye, and I think I may actually bite the bullet later this year. I might, get you know, it. I'm going to have the bank account in order to afford buying some larger, uh, larger sets. So it's either going to be this or the I Temple might. of Jitsu that but I get first. But, you know, first. the Temple, the Temple's such a good set, though. I, I'm kind of content so cool. where I am with that. Maybe, Dude, I don't know, man, maybe when cool money is not an issue, you can just go ahead and pick this one up. <laughs> Well, let me ask you this. How are the posters handled? Are they like giant printed pieces? I think they are. Either that or stickers. Could They're you more possibly than create stickers. your own stickers? <laughs> I'm I would sure you totally could. do that. And I'll, I, I do that all the time anyway. Custom so decals much. and stuff. 
Yeah, that's oh, true. Man. People do 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 that. What bar? The theater. I want it so bad. That looks the awesome. Is really great though. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. I love like I love sets That's with like so a kind of Asian influence in the design, and the palace cinema yeah, definitely dude, has a bit that of that. Looks great, and I know what you mean. Yeah, I'm a bit. I'm a big fan of this type of architecture too. Yeah, really. Um, that's why I got the Erdutsu Temple. That's when I wanted it for so long. Let's not long. lie, though. It's just because of the spikes. <laughs> Out of curiosity, has anyone gotten any Lego sets recently? Like, um, I actually no. picked up uh, the ATST walker (laughs) and i haven't built it yet i'm gonna build it as we go through the episode actually so i'll let you guys know wow (laughs) what a twist cool well i got something i got two big sets because um i actually got these a while ago but i haven't had the opportunity to be on the podcast and i built them kind of sort of while i was away and then after i got back from a business trip one of them is the marvel airport battle and Mm -hmm. it's really cool (laughs) <laughs> it, it's just the minifigures are really good the builds for everything also really good uh additionally i got the uh, triple t oh and the Tiger that's a really Trump cool take set down and there it is <laughs> and uh, six, where are we 16 uh, uh, 50 negative. we did we made some better time this week we did good we did good <laughs> but anyway i mean listen it's five do- uh, five dollars out ducks. of his wallet <laughs> yes five, ducks five, his pay. five whole ducks but yeah, so wait, I'm deducting five wait. ducks from your pay. <laughs> well, Aflac. That was no, my but... Rolf impression. <laughs> <laughs> you dare mock the side boy! Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they should make Lego Ed and Nettie. Dude, that, that should be great. a dimension. Yeah, no, this is what. Oh, Let's start everybody. A for that. <laughs> and there is someone out there who just has an infinite amount of money and is just willing to blow it on reviving some stupid franchise like Bionicle. Don't waste it on Bionicle. Bring back Ed, Ed and Nettie. That's what I want. Please, yes. Wow. You just do it, man. You do the <laughs> I, world I, I such a big notion. service. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Penny. that's awesome. We yeah. Finally no, they're got both that really good collection. sets. If anyone is interested in buying them and you have a lot of money and money isn't isn't an issue, get them both <laughs> at the same time because it, it does feel parents. like it's a really good package deal because you got the triple T. You have some characters you're not getting in the airport battle. You're getting a new Hawkeye, the new Spidey and the updated vision. The only one that you're going to get a duplicate of is Captain America. And then sucks. It's okay. Elder. Here's my question for you. Captain America You've got sucks. the two Marvel sets. You've got a majority of the Avengers. Are you going to complete the collection? Are you going to get black Panther and Falcon? And Maybe black eventually. Widow? And Black Widow. Uh, what you I'm likely going to do your, is... Um, sorry to interject. You should get them with your 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 shop points, or what's it called? The VIP the points, VIP yeah. Points, yeah. That's a good your idea. I forgot, I forgot what they were called for a second, man. So I said shop points. I mean, <laughs> so, technically, okay. isn't that yeah, what they okay. are? Kind of? Yeah, you're right, you're right. I, I thought you said shop oh, points, yeah, I guess as in, like... <laughs> take a yeah. shot yeah, for Yeah, I'm going to shoot bought. them. Yeah, exactly. Pow, pow. Yeah, no, um... <laughs> that, that's pow, a good idea. Pew, pew. I should probably do that. But I will eventually just not right away. I, I think you could t- you could get the the set with uh, cross uh, crossbones and falcon and, and then uh, I, black widow and black widow. Yeah, yeah. Then, so yeah, I, I'll, just, I'll probably like, just get black that Panther. and then maybe Bricklink Black Panther. Right. But no, okay, the Cap minifigure in uh, this year's Civil War set sucks because he's just the Age of Ultron minifigure. One, he's not a bit at all, and he has the stupid helmet printed. On his head. All of them have had it. I agree. I it's know, not man. good. I don't mind that aspect of him. I, I don't like it, but I also don't mind it. I really don't like it. I feel like it. It's because like the the printing because it's like a dark blue head. The printing for the skin tone always is off from the actual skin tone. Okay, I mean that's true. Uh, since like you don't really see the skin tone anywhere else on the minifig, it doesn't really matter. To me. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's it, not like with Spider Man where just, it's like he has that off. He's always had this kind of off red on his uh on a torso because they made the torso like uh, this blue plastic with red printing mm-hmm. over it, and it always looked off. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, always hated that. Yeah, I never liked that. But with this, it's uh, I, I, it's definitely there. But it, mm, I don't know, it doesn't bother me as much. I don't know. I don't like it on Cap. I don't like the printing and how it's discolored. Because if you go and get the Black Panther set that has Black Panther, that has Cap, and that has Bucky. Well, Cap doesn't have any sort of a helmet. He has just his normal face and his hair, which is completely unfitting. 
Yeah, the, the hair doesn't like look anything hair. like the film. Yeah, the, the cap and hair is the skin weird. tone is completely different than what's on the the helmeted cap. So, I think they should have gone the route of a helmet, kind of like the Flash. Yes, if that's they, they had gone say. the route oh, of the no, Flash I helmet, know. I think that's that what, that's what I fun. thought the Flash helmet was really bad. I mean, granted, it wouldn't look exactly like the Flash. I feel like the the Flash helmet is a little big, but like something more like in between between the Flash helmet and like Benny's helmet, you know, the Spaceman helmet. Mm, yeah, something in between those two, I feel would really work for Cap. I guess I would have to see like some sort of concept. Like, some, come on, guys, whip whip something up for me. That being said, though, the one thing that really does stand out in that wave of minifigures is Bucky. Because the Winter Soldier minifigure is so much better than the one we got previously. Yeah, yeah, it, it's I, I really like, good. I like the the Bucky minifigure. It looks good. Got it here. Oh, I thought you said you didn't like it. No, I like it. Yeah, he's, he's good. <laughs> he, he's good. Anyone else have buy anything this week? Um, I actually um <clears throat> picked up two of those Star Wars construction sets. Uh, the yeah. Jin Urso and the uh, K2SO. Um, I really did. Lives. I really got... K2SO, and I was like, Do I, I really want it, recommend though? K2SO. That is a really? fantastic model. Honestly, okay. I, I, I think it. it really helps because of the source material, like what it's supposed to be a model of, but like honestly, when you look at that on your desk, like for me, when I walk in, it doesn't even look like a Lego set. It looks like an action figure. It's okay. really, right. really Fair well enough. done. I will get it then. That's I awesome. like those sets that look like actual action figures that are just const- like constructible yeah you know? Everything also, I've seen, okay. people have like unanimously praised him so the other two are more hit or miss so. yeah definitely also uh the black uh the, um, toa piece from 2015 is really cool yeah uh, I, I, I want a lot I of those that for me yeah <laughs> um <clears throat> it's also really really tall um i don't know i don't have my grievous displayed at the moment but i'm it, i mean it looks like he could rival him not gonna lie. It makes sense. He's a very lanky kind of a dude. Yeah, like, he's, he's like really, one, really tall. I was not expecting how big the figure was gonna be. It, it's just, it's interesting because the Star Wars figures, like, the scale of them is so much larger than that of the, you know, like, Bionicle figures. It's, uh, it's weird that they come from the same building, uh, system. Especially because, um, the new Star Wars construction figures have these, like, new armor pieces that are sort of like the, uh, the leg pieces that you got on, like, Darth Vader and, uh, you know, all the Star Wars sets last year. Yep. But they're wider, almost. They're giant. They're huge. I don't think... I, yep. Like, you could not use that on a Tella. I don't, like... I, I'm sure it'll be useful for mocking, but man, they are big armor pieces. Hmm. That's interesting, because that piece in particular has looked weird on pictures, but does it look cool in real life? Yeah, I mean, that? it looks... I would say it looks better on K2SO than it does on Jin, but I will... I do kind of appreciate what they were going for as far as Jin's build, because she definitely has a more feminine uh, structure than uh, yeah. what we're used to out of CCBS. And the bigger pieces are, you know, kind of meant to represent thighs. So, like, it, it does work. It does feel like it's missing some, like, detailing or something. Because it's really just this giant chunk of plastic, almost. It feels like there should be something there. Yeah. How does that face hold up? I don't like the <laughs> face at all. Yeah, like, what are you expecting? It's yeah, like, it's, I mean, it's, it's just, bad. it's exactly what you think it is. <laughs> it's a face. I feel like this one works better than, um... Then what's her face? Ray? Ray's, yeah. Um, only because I feel like this one looks a bit more like it belongs on the figure. Whereas, like, mm. with Ray, it, it kind of felt like they just kind of shoehorned in that little mask thing that she didn't wear at all in the movie. And it, it, it right. kind of felt a little out of place with the rest of the figure. Here, I, like, I can see her wearing this hat and these goggles and, like, combat and everything. So it kind of it fits with w- the rest of her aesthetic, I feel like. It actually a seems bit more. practical. <laughs> right. Exactly. So, I mean, not that Ray's wasn't, it's just, I don't know, something about this fits more to me. I guess you, it might help that you can kind of see her hair a little bit, too. Um, yeah, the hair not appearing in Ray's was kind of odd. I feel like, for whatever reason, they keep covering the heads of all the, the female construction um, action figure. It's, it is they weird. they feel like they can appropriately model hair, and they have reason to feel well, they that they can't way, appropriately they model faces, in, either. They, they haven't still do in that. the past. All their hair has been garbage. Except for Obi-Wan, which we heavily relied on the cartoon animated style. I yeah, it was also short hair. Yeah, it was. I, I, I mean, don't know how they would Jin do longer hair. Jin kind of hair. has short hair, too, though. And so did Ray. It's not like they had long, flowing hair. Well, anything. I mean, true, but Ray's also got a pretty crazy hairstyle. She does. She does. Jin, so, I don't... I feel not as much. Jin, they could probably have gotten away with. They probably didn't need to do the hat thing. But like I said, I feel like the hat works here better than Ray's mask, so... It's fair. Um... Anyway, it but definitely yeah, seems like the Rogue One figures are pretty good, surprising a lot of people because a lot of people wrote them off when they first saw them. Yeah, 
But um, even Jin, you know, for a human figure, she's been getting a lot of positive reception. It seems like the one everyone thought was going to be the best, the Death Trooper, is actually getting, like, the worst reception yeah. from people. I remember seeing the the initial pictures and being like, yeah, I thought that looked pretty cool. But when I went to the Target and actually picked up these sets and I looked at it uh, on the box, it's like the upper half looked really cool. But everything else just did not yeah. look well well built at all. Like the legs mm-hmm. looks terrible. The armor in general seemed really under armored for a trooper, you know, it just I don't know. It felt it felt off. Whenever I see pictures, this whole, like, upper torso kind of a thing they have going on with the Death Trooper where they have those pieces that kind of fold down over the top part of his torso looks great on the box but on the set it seems really wobbly it Mm -hmm. flops around a lot and it breaks the immersion Uh, when you actually take a look at it interesting so it's uh maybe they could have spent a little bit more time on that see the bone piece is what turned me off a lot and it's it's interesting because you can like in the thigh there where you can just clearly see that bone piece it's like okay i just hate how that looks it's interesting, though, because it's like that on the uh, Jin figure as well, and I picked that one up, so I guess it really just turns out to be posing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's like when when you do it with the Death Trooper, he's primarily black, and so when you see that gray bone, it looks bad. With Jin Erso, I don't know what color bone her upper leg has, but she has a bunch of gray armor. So yeah, it's, it's a like gray bone. The dual colors are already woven into her color scheme. With the Death Trooper, it's far more noticeable. I will say... Least, yeah. I do appreciate all the gray that comes with that set and it not being gunmetal for once. So yep. it is actually it's entirely gray. new. That's awesome. It is actually gray. I just yeah, like to say re- that it's uh, really... I called it. Uh. <laughs> I said it on. It's a really pretty color. I yep. like it a lot. It's a bunch of new recolors, so you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, if honest. anything, she'll be a good parts pack. Um, so yeah, I, I really just got her to compliment my K2SO, which is the set that I really wanted. But Right. Um, K2SO is great though i heavily recommend him he's got a pretty steep uh, price tag they're all about 24 dollars. so yeah when you're Yikes. that's yeah i knew we bought him the other day and i was like 24 yeah oh, when you get those man. sets it's like okay you're definitely paying for that star wars premium but mm-hmm. k2so is definitely worth it it's it's weird k2so even makes up for it in parts count too because he's technic built right so like, it feels like there's a lot there it's honestly really weird because it seems like k2so would be more on the line of grievous where he's he'd be more about 30 about Thirty dollars over the twenty five really? that the rest of the sets are. It, it's weird that he's in the same price bracket as Jin, who feels like a far lesser set. Hmm. That's interesting. So, right, well, I will definitely have to get it then. His he has more parts, but his are smaller. And Jin has less parts, but hers are bigger. That's probably what it is. Probably, yeah. It's man. It's all about man. He's got a great torso build. By the way, it's very uh, Skull Basher esque, except a little bit better uh, executed. Doesn't he have um, like the same function as Skull Basher? Or yeah, it's literally the exact same function. Oh, that's just, cool. It works. I think it works nice. better because of his larger scale. It's able to in- to be incorporated a bit m- uh, more into the torso because it- the rest of him is so large that you don't really see the big thing in the back like you would Skull Basher. Also, his arms don't seem to wobble as much, but maybe that's just because I haven't like messed with them as much as Skull Basher. Maybe. I wasn't planning on getting any of these sets. I think I will probably get K2SO. Yeah, I was, pl- I, I was thinking about getting like, K2SO and, and what's her name? Jin? Jean? Jin. 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 Yeah, I was Giant thinking about getting for the, the gray parts. <laughs> oh. This is the. Meso, I am just now seeing the picture that you posted of the Death Trooper. <laughs> that yep, yep. is very disappointing. Yep. I thought that so shoulder cool. piece was like actual plastic. What is that? What the heck? It's like a, it's like a weird, like, smooth, what? shiny. <laughs> I wow. remember they used to use that material <laughs> for, like, the old Star Wars system sets as wing pieces. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, exactly. It would be, like, for Jabba's yeah. palace or something. Can, can right? Yeah. Like the the oh, yeah, that's, stuff, a, that's so. the same material that's um in the uh, Destiny's Bounty. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Oh, that, yeah. That, that's and terrible. And if you actually, like, watch a review of this set, like a Legend Jang's review, every time you move it around, it just kind of flops around. Oh. <laughs> but it looks terrible. That looks so bad. I thought, I, when you look at the box art, it, it kind of makes you think it's, like, actual hard plastic. Yeah. Like, I thought that was a piece. Tell, the sh- colors are different. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, gross. It's deceptive. I need to go find this Jang's review. <laughs> Jang review while this is, like, relevant. I need to see this again. Because, yeah, it's like when I saw the pictures, I was just like, this set's cool. Yeah, it's maybe a bit generic. It's just all black or whatever, but it's a solid trooper build. I actually think this is one of the weakest trooper builds they've done. Like, I prefer the default stormtrooper. Now, granted, that piece isn't mandatory. You can easily take it off, and then he will just be a regular stormtrooper. But 
you know, stock as the set is built, it's like not the oh, best look at in the world. Legs, those look terrible. <laughs> the legs are bad, dude. The legs are really bad. Oh I see what you meant about that. Look at that again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now that I'm actually so. seeing the set, it's even worse. Like, wow. I'm glad the legs are kind of like, uh, well, at least the lower half kind of looks like Darth Vader's legs. Yeah, I actually yeah. own Darth Vader's. The lower half is Darth Vader's legs. Darth Vader, Darth Vader's kind of excused because he's got that skirt that kind of blocks out most of it. Same with uh, Kylo Ren. These legs mm-hmm. are way too lanky, though. It looks like there's need, there needs to be something in the crotch area. It right. just doesn't look, doesn't look right. Yeah, this looks. Uh... Darth Vader has the same problem with the upper leg bone. Uh, it's like it bothered me, but Darth Vader took it a step further because he had gunmetal yeah, armor. This this stormtrooper so looks like he's like, been skipping leg day, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like hardcore. It's not good. It's not good. And that's the challenge they've always faced with the, the CCVS Star Wars set. It's like the lower legs are good. They've got a solid formula for those. The arms are fine. They've always had trouble with upper legs, it seems. Basically always. So, I don't know. But that's that. This is where we're at, guys. This is construction All right. now. The helmet sculpt looks it. really good, though. Helmet is good. And the blaster Credit looks good as well. Yeah. yeah. It's it's not a terrible set, but it's like it definitely is not the stellar um, selling point of this slide. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not going to spend $24 I, I mean, for a blaster KT, uh, and a helmet. Was, yeah, it's $25. Like, that's the thing. This Death Trooper. $25. <laughs> that's man, insane, no, thank man. You. These that's prices not are worth way it. too much. Bring the prices down. <laughs> Bring the prices down. Honestly. <laughs> I love this comment on the video. Why won't they just make shorter legs? Are they afraid of making a realistic looking figure? <laughs> yeah, well, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what it is. Bringing news: Star Wars exposed right now on the Brick Feed podcast. Okay, wow. they make the long legs. They're making the longer legs because they want to make the sets taller to give the illusion that they're actually more significant than they actually are to justify the price tag. It's why they have taller torsos. It's why they have the physique of a Titan set, but they don't actually have the armor that a Titan set would have. Yeah. That's right, it's ladies and gentlemen. We have become an exposed channel. Next up. Our reactions. Yep. Next up, hopefully not us, because that's gross. No. <laughs> I'm going to do the try not to laugh challenge. <laughs> oh, no. Fail, because I laugh at everything. Uh, you do I laugh think, at everything, I though. think we need to do the try not to eat this box of Lego pieces challenge. That's a crazy <laughs> one. And there he goes, laughing Wow, that was quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instant wow, fail. Wow, we're really good at this. Did he really- like 15 oh, seconds? I, I, oh, no, I failed. <laughs> so that's that. Hey, LJ. What? Pudding. <laughs> wow. 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 You guys can't do anything. Good grief. <laughs> that's, All right. that's pitiful. All right. So uh, returning back to the news for a second. Uh, before we do that, actually, I should probably talk about one of our sponsors here. So uh, any mini mighty mouth, let's go with Vessel.com slash the TTV channel. Uh, so Vessel is a place you can go in order to watch all our content one week early for free. Um, if if it's – sorry. One week early for uh, – the Brickfeed podcast. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to pay anything, but you can go on Vessel.com and watch the latest version of the TTV Brickfeed podcast right now. If you're wanting anything else, you do have to pay uh, a little bit. It's $2.99 a month. It's $19.99 a year. It helps us out uh, and really helps us to create the content that we are doing for you right now. Uh, but again, that's Vessel.com slash the TTV channel. Go there and enjoy. It's a pretty awesome place to hang out. Speaking of pretty awesome places to hang out, Legoland Dubai just unveiled <laughs> the tallest new replica of um, the world's tallest building. So it's like the tallest replica of the tallest building, if that makes sense. How does that work? Well, well you see, I mean, it makes it well, to look like see. tall thing and it tall. Well, you see, we <laughs> lost our home. <laughs> no, but wait a second. If it's the tallest replica... Wait. It is the tallest rendition replica. of the building which is the tallest in the world. The Burj no, Khalifa it's... Tower in Dubai. I be- I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. I might not be. I apologize to uh, people that actually know how it's pronounced. He doesn't care. But basically, thing, height, height's like a relative scale. It's like it's more accurate the taller you go. If I made it one brick smaller, would it be a replica anymore? <laughs> if it's a le- less, it's less accurate version. <laughs> Something that happens. Why can't if you, you just were hypothetically, be happy? You are hypothetically you able to build out? a 2,716 really cool. foot tower in Dubai. You're able to replicate that in Legos. So you're saying, would that be a replica? Like a- it's like it, it gets less and less accurate now the smaller it goes. So like, yeah. would it still count as a replica? If it was like yes, one it brick would. shorter. It would actually. If you made one that was bigger, it would still be a replica. You're replicating 
a building that already exists doesn't mean smaller. Guess what, guys? Replica, an exact copy or model of something, <laughs> especially one on a smaller okay. scale. I so really yeah, don't like you doing this. You're, oh, right, you're okay. right. You're right. You're right. I got in the second part of the definition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A joke. Shut All up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, basically, uh, they unveiled it. It is about 56 feet tall. Um, it's not the tallest Lego building ever made. I think from what they're saying, uh, the tallest Lego building was in Milan and it was 114 feet and 11 inches. Mm. And that's Dang. the uh, current world record for the tallest Lego structure. But it has been disassembled. It's no longer standing. This is currently standing. I believe currently right now on this earth, this is the tallest Lego structure. Wow. I believe so. Wait, what? At... 56 feet. We'll no, see no, about no, that. No, no, no. All right, boys, I know a project that we got to work on next year at Brick Fair. We got to make a very bricks. tall... Just bring your bricks. The, like the world's tallest building out of a bunch of two-by-twos. We got to make a replica, not replica, of the Matanui robot. Oh, no, I think you're actually right that it is the tallest Lego structure in the world. That's, that's bizarre. No, well, okay. It's well... Cur- the- Current, st- currently standing. The tallest one is in, like, again, the tallest one was in Milan, but that's been taken down. So right Milan. now, as of this moment, I believe this is the tallest Lego building currently Interesting. standing. Because one of the other large ones was, like, 114 feet in Budapest. Budapest! You and I remember Budapest very differently. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let's leave on that reference and move on <laughs> to a just a bit of news that's like more of like a curiosity thing rather than something we can really, really talk about for two hours. And that's Lego is rolling out Macs in their workplace. They basically switched over okay. from a PC workflow to like more of a Mac workflow using <laughs> uh, Apple's enterprise. Solution. I hate that term. So, workflow. I, you made me hate you. it. What's wrong with workflow? Yeah, what's what's wrong? What's what's the, what a strange word to dislike. It's what the just, heck yeah. workflow do to you? Or audience, <laughs> as you'll come to know, LJ just has weird dislikes for no reason. Other just, than LJ, I just like things. the word pickle. I don't care. <laughs> that doesn't affect me. Hey, LJ. <laughs> my, my thing is... Pickles. <laughs> work Workflow wow. is what? not a term that's used in this entire <laughs> ar- article. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold up. I are you? Do you understand that joke, Var? Because I don't understand. No, that joke. I don't. I don't. I don't know why it was stated. Finds pickle funny it's my, for some it's reason. It's my favorite word. What on okay. earth? <laughs> why? How do you because guys not know this? Don't 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 worry. Express this like however many times. I I know. I just don't. It's dumb. I don't. I don't get, understand why we had to say that. I yeah, I didn't I, ask for it. I don't anyway, understand paused. why you got to question didn't ask it. For and this. You why you got to question it and ruin the flow of the humor. You know, you just got all I said was the joke flow. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now let's go back to I the workflow. Like, yeah, there's a lot. There's plenty of. <laughs> all right, flow shut up. What? So anyway, back on the topic. No, of you flow. shut up, you freaking jerk! You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I so love you. why Max? <laughs> because uh, I mean they're better. Okay. I mean, I mean Max it. are. So riddle me this. Okay, y'all. Help out an unenlightened. <clears throat> okay. What do Macs do that PCs cannot do? They, it's not what they can they do. It's really the programs that they are. They're built for different types of users, and a lot of uh, users that are especially deal with things related to the arts, um, like mm. modeling, uh, like drawing, like that kind of thing. Gen- like generally, tend to work on Macs as opposed to PC. Okay. They're they're just generally speaking, pre-built yeah. high-end computers that are tailored towards like their saying more professional environments right, right. gotcha it's they not also, so much that they can do because... more than than pcs but they are more supported for those types of purposes right and for a pure and, and superfluous really... aesthetic reason they also right. do make a very clean workspace especially in corporate businesses it looks nicer okay. to have max around instead of a bunch of like heavy duty pcs that all are different or look ugly or old or dated and additionally, like sense. Macs are generally uniform. You know, there's yeah, not a lot of deviation exactly. you have. So updates that are pushed out gets pushed out to everybody. Um, things that like that work for one person are going to work all over. These the people they're a bit that are more reliable here, to work with. Yeah, they're re- more reliable, and they don't want to deal with like all, you know a lot of minutia that would come from having different kinds of parts, different kinds of processors, graphics cards. They want to just have people be able to work and sit down and model the new Lego set or right. whatnot. And this is coming from people that use PCs. So right. <laughs> but but yeah. PCs so are I can understand why they would use it. And also, like part of the thing too is that, like from what we we're uh, in this article, they said that the 
they had one management server and uh, they tried to get other servers. They all lacked a mobile device management capability. So uh, basically, they, they're needing iOS for mobile use. And iOS only works with Macs. Cool. <laughs> all right. So. There you go. All right. What's well, next that, on the docket? Uh, real quick. <clears throat> now would be a really good time to mention. Uh, some Lego contests have ended. Two of them, actually. Well, I was going to get to that at the end. You were going to get it at because... the end? That's not even on the docket. Yeah, that's why we're going through everything on the docket. You never told and then us. We're get okay, to it at the fine. End. Uh, no contest because... ended. Until the no, end. no, the contest did end. I was just going to announce, like, because we're basically not going to talk about it on this podcast as much. Yeah, we don't that's going to be more of a TDB well, podcast that's what I was mention conversation. At the very end. Both yeah. of them? Both of them. Yeah, sure. man. Both of them. Well, yeah. okay. I mean, we weren't really going to talk about the other one to begin with. Let's be real. I mean, yeah. that's not like... That well, yeah, because it wasn't on the docket. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, what I else? I mean, you, you can go else? ahead and mention it and talk about yeah. it. Like, just go ahead okay. and say what happened and everything. Yeah, we don't have to have an extended conversation about it. Two Lego contests ended. The Record Your Creativity Contest, which was a creator contest, and you needed to use what I believe to be a... No, it's not a Lego app, but you needed to take a picture of, uh, I believe, a, a lighthouse. Some sort of Lego module using creator sets. Hmm. And the other one was the final Bionicle contest, which was the Build Your Own Makuta contest, and that ended very recently. I believe the Ninjago Greatest Villain of All Time that one, contest that was, did end a while ago. That ended well. a while ago. But I don't think we ever mentioned that either, so while we're at eh, it, there you Worth go. mentioning. <laughs> yeah. We mentioned it. <laughs> sure, while we're mentioning things that happened a long time ago. So Tanker Truck Takedown World War II has out. ended. No, <laughs> we can now have... Another $5. Know, stars, the Baby Boomers, not a World War II, has officially been <laughs> considered over. Yeah. Wow. The next two contests, if the anyone Axis is forces interested. forces have surrendered. Two more contests go. that are coming up, if anyone is interested. November 4th, you have a micro-build with Lego Classic contest. Create your own micro-Lego model. And on November 21st, a Lego Friends contest. In celebration of Lego Friends, Lego invites you to create what you feel is the very best of Lego Friends. You know what I feel is really great about Lego Friends? You can meet them online in a place such as the TTV message boards, which is located oh at board.ttvchannel.com. You can go and meet a ton of <laughs> <I> <laughs> like Lego it. friends, talk wow. about Lego content. You can talk about stuff that's not even related to Lego. Like, I don't know, whatever you want to talk about. Ruby or this, yeah. Game of Thrones or uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. This that's is coming out. really interesting. This Lego Friends contest, they mention that you can enter it on the website or on one on one of the 15 North American fan conventions. Well, really? you can also order submit things to our website at board.tv.com. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to plug you. And you can have your friends review it. <laughs> and you can have your friends review it or come to one of our many multiple fan conventions held My across gosh. the globe. <laughs> Again, in case you haven't heard it already, board dot ttv channel dot com, <laughs> or you can go to board dot podcast dot com. Mix it up a little. They all redirect. Thank you. Also, vessel. <laughs> oh also my vessel. gosh, you guys. And audible. Aud- we're not. We're not doing audible anymore. No, okay, no rip, more rip, audible. Watching audible. Rip. <laughs> Do not try it. <laughs> I mean, theoretically, we could. We have doubled subscribers since our last audible ad. Okay, have Audible, really? Audible, um, do it, do it. Yes. <laughs> sure. Audible.com slash TTV. Audibletrial.com <laughs> forward slash TTV. You're right, audibletrial.com. Sorry, it's been a while since we've done this. Okay, ad get back to the discussion, please. Speaking of books, I don't know oh if it's an gosh. audiobook, but a cool book did come out. <laughs> You're killing it's me, called man. The collectible, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, my, trying my best. The Collectible Lego Minifigure, uh, and it's written by uh, Jeff and Ed. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm sorry. Makuro Whisk Makuro Oh my gosh Makuro 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 you know how to pronounce this <laughs> Makuro standing Ma- Makuro I don't know man <laughs> yeah, It doesn't matter <laughs> Okay it's Thank you Polish. Awesome Basically they made this uh, They made their own kind of fan book uh, Covering Lego minifigures They made a book last year about uh, Lego sets called the Ultimate Guide to Collectible Lego Sets. 
identification and price guide. And basically, this does the same thing for collectible minifigures. It gives them uh, like a price guide to how much each is worth. It goes through different things like, you know, Star Wars and Cowboys and Adventure and Lord of the Rings and superheroes and all those other collectible minifigures. Um, and again, gives you a price guide so you can kind of gauge how valuable the minifigure you have is and what one is actually worth. Well, that's just pretty nifty. Man. It is pretty cool. We should it's one of those like fan things that people do. That's kind of cool. We should have gotten um, this before we did our top 10. <laughs> yeah. We can just do it again. We can do an updated one. Do another never million one. In that. Sure. It's fine. Well, last time we did that top 10, we meant that. Now we're going <laughs> to oh do another one. <laughs> wow. Remember when we put that top 10 out? Oh, we meant that. Now, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> another one. Another one. And another one. What's All right. Number one Lego podcast figures. in the country. <laughs> <laughs> Another reference that the audience probably won't get. <laughs> wow. Well, I know a couple of them will get it. Yeah, they'll probably they'll, they'll more they'll more likely get that than anything else that we might have spewed out in the middle of this podcast. <laughs> Too true. I but, appreciate uh, you. Progress what else, report. Guys? Progress report. I mean, this really, really the the last loyal. thing that we that kind of came out was that we got a couple of new images of the superhero girl sets. Oh, uh, actually, oh never mind. Like was, Forget what I was about to like say. Let's server. let's get into this again. Yeah, let's <laughs> okay, let's want to talk about this again. Oh, uh, here we go. Again. Um, Batgirl's Bat Jet Chase, Harley Quinn to the rescue. Sorry. And Superhero High School got Harley official Quinn images. Rescue. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, Morty. <laughs> they all got basically official images put up by Lego, so you can go check those out. The box art was released. I mean, it basically is just like what you expect. You know, I'm not like showing anything really new here. It's just uh, a clearer view of what the set is and what we'll have. I was actually hoping to get one of these sets before tomorrow, uh, which is impossible because it's not being released before tomorrow, but I do know someone who this set would be perfect for, and it's their birthday tomorrow, and I cannot buy this. So Purple suggested I get them an IOU, which sucks because when you're eight years old, you do not want an IOU as your birthday present. So I'm going to have to figure something out. Wow. Hmm. All right, everyone, you heard it here. Kahi hates um, eight-year-olds. You know what you probably should have done is uh, you should have checked Amazon to see if they had like a pre-order thing set up. But even if it get, pre- it's like as long as it doesn't get ordered before tomorrow, though, it doesn't really matter for me. Like, uh, I, I know, I need but a I mean, like for tomorrow, I'm saying like uh, like to yesterday or a couple of days before or something like that. Right. Some, but well, all right. Something to, well, I mean, like, to consider guys, in the future. Do you guys have any suggestions right now of like stuff that would fit an eight year old girl? No. As a present, I'm not an eight. I know you're all girl. experts in what yeah. you know. Young. You're asking the wrong person. Elementary, not even elementary age. Just like barely past, uh. Get her a bionicle set. No, I'm not getting her a bionicle set. Dude, you dude, gotta get, get people in the fandom. Set. Get a core go. No, it's. It, Maybe she'll like it. Maybe. Seriously. Get her a bionicle set. She doesn't like it. all the time, Squeff. Yeah, yeah, sure. Get her, a, get her a bionicle set and throw in a dead hamster okay, while you're I at mean, it. That is true, but Fluffy was. Fluffy is a certain kind of person who likes that stuff, and she's a very. She's the kind of person that Lego friends are She's a weirdo. No. Like, get her a bionicle set. A girl liking a girl. boy's toy? What a freak. Listen. Yeah. listen Lego does not. Listen. I mean, not Lego. Wow. G- <laughs> <laughs> TV okay, does just not get, condone sexism. There we go. Just get her a bionicle set. Best case scenario, she likes it, and a new fan is added. Worst case scenario, she's disappointed, and then she's just like the rest and of you, us. And <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, wow. <laughs> A new fan is added to what? Execution. There is no fan. Either way, she's like the rest of us. <laughs> Have any of you bought like a friends or elf set? No. Purple no, elf. man, now with those stupid looking dolls. Yeah, honestly. Just get I mean, it. You, you say why I haven't bought one? Honestly, you, 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 the mini doll. I haven't and bought one because I'd consider of those it. colors. Oh, wait a second. You know what? I just thought of something. Mm. Lego Frozen. Let That's it go, Kahi. Lego Frozen cha-ching, Disney cha-ching. Princess Elsa. Do you want to build a Lego Gotta print set? that money. <laughs> oh man, that it's how much is that? Thirty one. That's not too bad. I could afford that. You could do it. Maybe it's the same girl who was talking about the whole thing of the Barbies. You guys remember that with like the whole yep, story? The this is that's, that's her. So I also <laughs> was thinking about getting like uh like she wants like a uh, Barbie to play the dad. So I find like a guy Barbie, but I don't want to go through the Barbie aisle. I just not to be like you know. Wow, kind of like, hey. I just. It's a thing where I'm like I I don't know what kind of what kind of Barbie she's looking for in terms of like someone who would sure. play the horse I would say the mm-hmm. personally dude, the, the, the best kind of gifts are the kind that not only have a personal value to the person in question but also a, a personal value to the person who's giving the gift. 
So, like, for was it LJ a while back for my birthday sent me this this little Lego shark set, and he got the idea because we had this inside joke where I, I was like dreaming <laughs> about him. Supposedly dreaming about him oh, getting dear. eaten by a shark. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Apparently, it's still funny. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> I still get but a kick out cool. of it. But it was cool. Like I, I got a yeah. good kick out of it. I appreciated the gift. So I, I don't know, man. Of course, I, I don't expect. I don't know. I that feel like that might be a little much... different for like a, a friend relationship. Yeah, I was, though, I was or... just about to say that might be different in this case. Con- yeah, I mean, I like, if she this... was, if she was like my you know, my peer, like another college age person, and I'd probably have a lot more in Right, but you, didn't you to, have like a little, uh, you said you had a little conversation about like, I do, what, I do have a lot Barbie. of conversations you be like, get a robionical set and be like, hey, this is my Barbie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Robot Barbie. That's exactly what I would think if I was in your shoes. I might, I would, I might do that. I, I, I do might that. do that. I might do that. Yeah, but you want I might do that. that or I might. I might like. I'm gonna go to the store. You and just see said if, like, I might do Elsa. that so many times. <laughs> I might do that. I might do that. I might do that. that. I might okay. do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you right. might want to get something that's gonna have more sentimental value than like, or that will last more than ten seconds. Yeah, it's true. Oh, cool. He for likes only this. Too much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a very fair assessment. I'll figure it out. Leave in the comments below if you have something better. It'll be too late because her birthday's tomorrow, and this episode won't even be out by tomorrow. But just so I know for the future, for her ninth birthday next year, Actually, I can that, be that, like, that's hey. That's a good point. Even if you did want to get her a Bionicle set, could you? They're gone from stores. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Where, it's it's like kind of bounce off stores. of what Envy was saying. It's like, you guys really remember every single gift you got on your birthdays? Especially from strangers? No, nope. true. No. I'm not like a yeah. stranger. Yeah, but it's usually because it's they true. got me bad gifts, though. Yeah, that's true. That like, if, uh, if someone know, got man. me, a, like someone when I was young, someone got me a uh, Imperial shuttle, which is like a fifty dollar Lego set, which is the most expensive Lego set I had had because I was like ten, and I was like, I can't believe this, and I've always remembered that set because it was so awesome. Also, people never got me anything for my birthday, so right, there oh, you go. Then. Oh, boo hoo! <laughs> <laughs> if purple is here, for me, she's it's like sympathy, I don't know. I it's all of us. So I can't remember off the top of my head like every little thing I got for my birthday. You know, nothing really left me that big of an impression. But if I thought hard I got enough, a Buzz Lightyear for my birthday. I remember, awesome. I remember the if things. If I thought like, hard enough, I could probably remember a couple of cool presents that I, I got remember from everything. some people. I also remember what I get people. Yeah, because Gifts- Yo's bring it up. Because you're well, a dork. What? Santa no. J. No, no, no. I'm just saying that I remember gifts because I think gifts gifts hold a lot of sentimental value. Any gifts. I, I value all I sorts of things. That. So it's like because somebody went out of their way, not respecting, not, not expecting anything in return to just get somebody something. And I... I appreciate that to an immense degree. What if I sent you an envelope filled with, like, red and blue pens? Would you be I mean, happy about that? A, a fan did that at Brick Fair, and I love that bag of red and blue pens. <laughs> yeah, true. honestly, like... Because it was yeah, a gift. It's a, people, do, people do just throw around the phrase, oh, it's the thought that counts, but really, it is true. true. To me, that it, true. it is the thought that counts. That's important yeah. to me. The fact that you're getting her a gift at all is really cool. Okay. The thought doesn't count for me. It's give me like, something good or don't give me anything at all. The thought, yeah. does, change, wow. the thought does change my perception <laughs> That's on what. certain gifts. Like, for for instance, Solek. I hate Solek. It's like, it's a meme. It's a running joke. I sent my Solek to LJ to be cut up by a, with a chainsaw. But, like, I got two Soleks at Brick Fair. And those haven't been chainsawed. I comboed those into a model that's like sitting on my shelf. So you know, it does vary depending oh, on so the Oh, so you ruined the Several gifts. Linings. Wow, nice. <laughs> no, I made them into a great creation, Ultimate Omega Solek. So like, Omega the, Solek. The thought does change the perception of something. But it depends on what it is. Like if you say that it's the thought that counts. What if somebody, uh, not that this has ever been done before, but what if they send you a package that included like a rock and some dirt? <laughs> From their well, state. <laughs> funny you should make that joke. It's funny you say that because. <laughs> <laughs> no, explain the joke. Explain the joke for the audience. We're like laughing about the joke, they're not going to get. LJ did that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I still have all of your rocks, man. I know. I'm going to send you another one this year. <laughs> another, oh another one. Wow. I, I, Thanks, LJ. It's the thought I, that counts. I, I have, I've made it a point to send Ven a rock with every gift I get him. Yeah, okay. I know the little weirdo likes to do that. I don't know, man. <laughs> I know, it's like, whoa, does he send you a little, like, jar of his 
What, fingernail clippings too? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, so are you serious? Hey, I was throwing this away Let's too, so I figured you want this as I well. So I'm exactly throwing away disgusting. my trash in the mail. I wouldn't send somebody my fingernail clippings. I'd send them my toenail clippings because it's more personal that way. What's in this right, episode? Of the big food <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna cut this out. We're gonna cut this short. <laughs> no, we are. Thank you. No. Yeah, I worked I, too I hard for this. Say, ben. I, I okay, what do you want? What do you want to say, man? I'm gonna give you the floor. What do you want to say? ATS team. No, I have what? to go. I have to leave. Where are you going? <laughs> I have things to do. Oh, we all you're making a mistake. We can't. We can't end now. I. We can't like. Big uh, ben, I'm sorry, but we can't wait for you to talk about something. All right. I'll. I'll just <laughs> say like this we go, though. It's, we're ready. Um, we're ready. Go up an hour. I'll save it for next podcast because even then I wouldn't. You know, even if I did say finish it right now, I wouldn't have much time to go over it. But I will say this: so far, this thing is tall. It was a lot taller than I expected. I'm loving it. I certainly hope so. Star Wars oh exposed. God, I finished up the legs and uh, Star how much Wars was it? exposed artificial height. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to be anywhere near finished for a while because I got two more bags to go. This thing has a lot of parts. But, how much um, did you pay for it? Uh, forty bucks. Forty bucks. Ah, okay. uh, that's right. nothing. But right. you know, right. what, what's money? Right? <laughs> What's money? That's not a concern. <laughs> anyway, all right. All right. Let's, now let's we can right. up. There we go. Thank you for listening to the TTV Brickfeed podcast. <laughs> You're not. Join welcome. us next week when we will talk about some of really good. Ah, I'm sorry. Some other Lego related news. Or we're going to talk about something rugged right now. <laughs> <laughs> on It'll be a manly man podcast next episode. Yeah. Today, this was a very manly man episode, considering that all the girls bailed on us. That's yeah, true. All, Left. all two of them. Rip purple. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Fluff is currently back in the states, and uh, Purple she is, is well, don't worry. her guts out. Was she out. really? So, yep. Yeah, yeah, she is. She's I didn't realize that. She's yeah. in yeah. Florida. She didn't send you any Snapchats. No. Wow. wow. At the very um, least, Snapchat. She hasn't sent me any Snapchats. I'm sorry, I don't any Snapchat. Snapchat. Well, they yeah, she hasn't sent any to me. At the very least, we've had Kahi to stand in for our ladies. So <laughs> thanks, Kahi. <laughs> I'm you a voice. Too, he says I'm the most feminine one here. Excuse me, you want I mean, to fight? I don't clip my toenails and send them to people. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Listen, it's the thought that it, counts. Like, you're getting a pedicure. <laughs> you're gonna, people are actually going to think he does that now. Yeah, <laughs> dang it. That's going to be your new end joke. Now, I can't wait for the next brick fair where someone will come up to you. Like a little jar. <laughs> oh, like, hey, oh, hey, you said you hated so. this. So... I actually Please do that. Let, let me, I'm gonna, Please don't do that. I'm gonna That's take disgusting. a page. I'm gonna take a page from your book, Kahi. Boy, I sent all my friends one hundred dollar bills. I know. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for someone to get me my one hundred dollar bills. I hate so much. Thank you again for listening. We'll see you next week. I'm John. I'm Bar. I'm Mesa. I'm LJ. I'm Ben. And I'm Tenebrae Invictus. And this was the TTV Brickfeed Podcast, episode twenty-four. Goodbye. See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 B